My name is Omolara Baigui. I am currently doing a PhD in immunology at the HIV pathogenesis program of the University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban, South Africa. For my research, I'm focused at studying and understanding immune responses in individuals who are started on antiretroviral therapy early in infection and specifically um, researching a subset of CD4 T cells called the T follicular helper. I'm looking at CD4 T follicular helper cell responses in these early treated individuals. Um, I want to see if these responses are abrogated by early induction of antiretroviral therapy, if these responses can support B cell responses. In 2016, in March, I was fortunate to be awarded the Global Health Travel Award by Keystone Symposia to attend the HIV vaccines meeting in California. Looking at the program lineup, I was excited to be in the same meeting with top researchers in the HIV field. And these are people that I have been reading their papers and I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to get to interact with them one-on-one -on -one and ask them questions. If you have a poster, you present your poster and then people come by to ask you questions about your work. So you get, it's like you get instant peer review on your research. But also you can now go and see other posters as well. And then you can ask um, questions from the presenters of that poster. Some of them might be doing assays that are similar to what I'm doing. So I get to ask like questions about things I've been having challenges with in the lab. And that was very helpful for me. It boosted my personal confidence in my, in my research and in my approach to my work as well as it helped me to start up relationships that were beneficial both ways, especially with um, early career researchers like myself who were studying something similar to me, who um, were conducting assays similar to assays that I was conducting here in the lab. I grew up in Nigeria, but I am doing my studies here in South Africa and there's quite a, a lot of difference in the amount of equipment we have and resources we have available here in South Africa compared to what I had back home. Funders like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation come into play. They are actually helping to develop the next breed of scientists and they're actually giving opportunity to some bright scholar somewhere who doesn't have enough funds to put out his research or to cut, have the right connections with people that can hone his skills. We should do the best we can do with the resources we have and keep it, the integrity high in science and also look out for opportunities that have like funding for researchers, early career researchers or researchers from resource limited settings because exposure to other others in the scientific industry and in the scientific community will really help to build your confidence and will build your career as well.